So here's a little something different. So I wanted to make a comparison video so that you can see the difference between a Jabra Evolve 265 and a Plantronics Voyager Focus. In the immortal words of Harry Hill, well, there's only one way to find out. No, I won't make them fight, but I will give you a quick comparison and my opinion of what the differences are and whether they make a difference to me as the user. So I'm going to try the Jabra and tell you a bit about it and then try the Plantronics and similarly tell you the features and what I like or dislike about it. And it's not something I would usually do, but whilst I've got these two in hand, it might be a handy just to try that out and see what suits really, because I think they've got positives and negatives. The Plantronics Voyager Focus. So you get the USB-A dongle the charging cradle and the headset sh which the earpieces actually fold flat both that way up and then also the other way up so flat like that and also flat like that not sure how useful that is but there you go it also comes with a micro USB charging cable if you don't want to use the charging cradle as well as a little bag. So this is how the Jabra Evolve 265 comes. The box, the sleeve, slide off. And it actually comes within the case so when you open it the headset is here and you will find the USB connection within the pouch so it might not seem obvious but that's where it comes when it's delivered so this is for its full name is the Jabra Evolve 265 wireless PC headset with charging stand. It is the Microsoft Teams certified stereo headphones with a USB-A Bluetooth adapter. And it comes with a micro USB charger as well, as well as the cradle, which is in here. And it says this box is thoughtfully crafted with 100% recyclable materials and sustainable water-based ink, which I thought was quite, quite a nice feature. These are stereo headsets. On the left is a Jabra Evolve 265 on its charging stand. And on the right is a Plantronics Voyager Focus UC headset and you can see the Plantronics one is on charge and it is the light is moving the plant the Jabra there is a little green light and it's flashing and it's fully charged when it's just a steady green light So this is a wireless headset and it fits, sits nicely on the head with this design here which is quite flexible and sits comfortably. So there's a play and pause button on this side and fast forward and rewind with which you want to play music. Can't really see on the camera. On this side is the call button so you press it to take a call or hang up and there's also a volume dial that goes left and right and on this side is the 
on and button and the Bluetooth pairing button, as well as on the underside of the mic, there's a little red mute button. So the microphone can sit on your right side and flips up and down, or it can sit on your left side and it flips down and up. So it goes all the way around for flexibility. And I thought that was quite a good feature because if you want the option of it being on your left side, it's possible. And likewise, if you fancied it on your right side for some reason, useful to have the option. And on the underside is the active noise cancellation button, which slides so that you can hear your outside environment if it's off and then when it's on it tries to actively cancel out any noise. And so on this side is the micro USB charging port and also where you plug it in there's a contact point into the charging stand and it, it charges on the mic side. On the Jabra Evolve 2 65 all the action buttons are on the microphone side, which is the right hand side. So when you put it on, the neat feature of this headset is actually when it's down, your microphone is on. <clears throat> but if you actually move it up, it tells you it's muted. So it actually mutes on moving the microphone. As <clears throat> There is also a mute button, you can't really see here, on this side a solo button, that's for muting, and on the other side, the back, there is a volume up, down button and a play and pause button. And here is a, it's a Microsoft Teams linked product, so you can press it and it will activate Microsoft Teams on your laptop and also answer and hang up on call so if it's a button. And the controls, I'm just, I haven't removed the sticky label, the on and off and Bluetooth connection button, as well as the charging port, the micro USB, and that slots into the charger to charge up. So these are the Plantronics Voyager Focus headsets, speaking through the microphone. And I'm just going to put the radio on and have it on in the background. If I set it to 10. And I am still recording. The lights are on. And hopefully, you won't be able to hear the noise in the background as this is meant to be a noise cancelling headset but I'll leave that to you to decide. So what I'll do now is get the radio and turn it down a little bit so it's still on and I will turn it down to five like earlier and put it back out in the background so it is still on i am still engaged in a call it's down lower whether you hear it i'll leave that for you to decide and i will mute the call on the button here Now I am unmuted, so hopefully you could tell the difference and I'll get the radio. And switch it off. So this is the Plantronics headset 
and I do find it quite comfortable. And what I found actually was I purchased a set and when I had it on, it was crackly. And when it was on mute, it was silent. So I realized the microphone was faulty. So it absolutely shouldn't crackle. And when you're on a call, it was cutting in and out. And that was a fault with the microphone. So I had a replacement set, which is this set. And there is absolutely no noise or feedback in the headphones. And I like the fact that I can have the mic on either side, although it would be handy to have a light on both sides. Although if I'm in a room where I'm likely to have people coming in on my left side, it's useful to be able to take the headset off. So flashing light on that part and when it's on mute, it goes red. Also, something to note is this pressure sensored. So when you take the headset off, it actually mutes the microphone. And when you put it back on, there's pressure sensors to know that you can have the microphone back on, which is a neat trick. So whether you find it useful to have it, the microphone on the left or right as an option, would be down to user preference. Although obviously from a habit point of view, it might be easier just to have it on one side so that you always remember which side is the call button and volumes and controls as on this headset, they are on either ear. Whereas on the Jabra Evolve 265, all the controls are on the microphone side, which is the right hand side only. Through my headset, looking at the camera, doing a short presentation, and I'm not sure what it sounds like, but hopefully it's not too crackly. So this is recorded through the Jabra Evolve 265 headset and the light is red. There are two, one on each side as opposed to the Plantronics, which is just on the one side. And when I actually move the microphone up of the Jabra headset, the light is on green when you're on a call and when you are muted by flipping it up. It was red when it was muted. You can't hear me at the moment. Green when you're on a call and when you are muted. It was red when it was muted. And now I am speaking at unmuted and in the headset itself, it does tell you as well. So that's the mute. And there's also a mute button here. I was muted, now I'm unmuted button here. So these are the Jabra Evolve 265 headsets and currently through the microphone, I have a radio here and I will turn it on and put it in the background. And it is on in the background and I am on the phone talking at the moment and I think you might be able to hear it I'm not sure I can only tell with playback but the lights are on 
And if I mute, and now unmuted, I'm not sure how that is coming across, but I'm sure you better hear through the playback and make your own decision. The radio is still on. I've just turned down the volume to half the volume. It's still in the background. Whether you can hear it, I'll leave that to you to decide. Because it's the microphone is meant to be noise cancelling. I'm now on the laptop microphone, so no headset. And I'm going to turn the radio back on and then have it playing in the background back to 10 so that it's same as earlier when I had the headset on. So that's the radio in the background. So as you can hear, I'm talking to you at the moment, it's on in the background. You can hear it quite loudly, or just normal background noise. So this is just recorded through the laptop microphone, I'm afraid. But as it's talking about headphones, I thought I'd just have them on just to wear them and test the wear ability of the headphones. So I've got glasses. And sometimes headsets that are over go, go, go over both ears tend to push the frames into my head and makes it rather uncomfortable. So this is being heard through the laptop microphone, unfortunately, and it doesn't record through the microphone with the recording function on my laptop. And it's just to show wearability so this headset, there's a solid bit here, and then here onwards is a soft foam on the top of your head. And this is quite chunky in terms of the bracket. And this is the Jabra Evolve 2 65 headset, and its weight is 175 grams. Whereas I said earlier, the Plantronics is 155 grams. So this is a feels a little bit heavier. And in fact, when I first received these headsets and I wore it for half an hour it was digging into my head and I wear glasses so the frames were being pushed inwards and it did feel a bit uncomfortable. I have since worn them for a bit longer and it is hit to miss whether it hurts my head so to be honest for myself personally I don't think these will be very comfortable for, for me. So this is testing the range of the headset and the way it connects to the laptop. I'm going to take a wander. I'm not going to show you the best of my house, but I will carry on talking and move some way away from the laptop and to make sure that you can still hear me. So I am now walking through the house and heading towards the back of the house, which is about 10 meters away from the laptop. And what I'm gonna do is see whether it is still recording me when I wander outside. I'm just stepping outside now. So I'm just stepping away down the garden and I am away from the computer. In fact, my neighbour is working on something in the garden and it's, there's a slight breeze. Whether it's getting picked up, I'm not sure. So I'm just wandering back now into the house and approaching the laptop. And now I am in view. That was with the Plantronics headset. This is the testing of the range with the Jabra headset. 
So again, I am next to the laptop downstairs and I'm going to move away from the computer and take a wander to see whether the sound quality changes as I move away. So off I go. So just walking towards the back of the house. As I said, it's about I don't know, 10 meters away. I'm actually stepping outside into my garden and my neighbor's working on something. I'm in the garden and now it's a bit breezy and I'm coming back in to the house. Still breezy, still a bit of a wind and I'm now back indoors. I'm going to lock the door and coming back through the house. There's a clear path to the computer, there's no wall. And now I'm coming back into shot with the Java headset and testing that for quality away from the computer. So just a little bit about myself. My name is Sal Wan Lai and I'm a co-founder of a business called Wheeler and Lai Chartered Surveyors and we are based in Hampshire and we are commercial property advisor, valuer and agents and we cover the south coast of the UK. And so reviewing products is not my day job but as a business owner I have taken to learning to do some public speaking through Toastmasters and this was just a little bit of impromptu video work. So what would I be using it for? It would be for calls on my laptop or my phone. I work from home so being in a home environment sometimes it's good to have some noise cancelling headphones with microphone that doesn't pick up all the noise. I also thought it'd be handy to have whilst online with networking and webinars and seminars, as well as being able to possibly use them to dictate work for our administrative staff or just doing some voice notes for myself. So to summarise, I've got the Jabra Evolve 265 and I liked the feature of the microphone being able to be muted when it is pushed up and unmuted to come down and also when you answer calls just push the microphone down to answer the call as well as the button. And what I didn't like was actually it did start hurting my head after about 30 minutes of wearing them. So these are slightly heavier and they were a bit tighter and pressing into my my um, glasses. Um, but I do like the feature of it having a microphone. So if this unmute and mute can be incorporated into this set here, which is the Plantronics Voyager Focus, that would be brilliant. So I really enjoy the fact that it can be worn on the right side or flipped to be worn on the left side. But perhaps in day to day use, maybe sticking to one side might be better just so that you remember which side is the, um, the features are on. Um, but otherwise, I it's light to wear and comfortable and I can imagine wearing them for longer than an hour or so or even all day. I have worn these for an hour listening to an audio book and it was quite comfortable. Um, so I think it's down to personal choice, but out of these headsets here that I've tried, I personally would go with the Plantronics headset. And if you found this video useful, I probably won't be doing any more comparison videos to be honest, but this is kind of part of my Toastmasters journey, something different, doing a comparison video. You might usually see videos are 
by men. This one's by myself. And hopefully it, you found it helpful. Thank you.